I was born in September of 1942 when the Academy opened. I lived on Douglas Boulevard and the Academy was housed in the Hebrew Theological College, which was at the end of the block. So apparently it was meant to be. I actually started working for the ATT in uh, between 1967 and 1974. And Rabbi Rappaport heard about me and he wanted an experienced high school teacher. And that continued for over 50 years. Kids are great. I've got some uh, students where not only have I taught the uh, like parents, but I've also taught the grandparents already. And um, I like it when the kids communicate clearly to me. They get a little bit upset because I have them write on math tests. Why do we have to write? I said, because if you can't write, you can't get ahead. And so they have to write full sentences, and I take off when they don't put in capitals and periods. The, the kids have to understand how important this is. I had CPAs, I had a surgeon, and of course I had teachers and rabbis. We want the kids to do well. It's just a, a wonderful place. I'm very passionate about my teaching, and I'm passionate about the school. I met Mrs. Wasserstrom in the fall of 1976. I uh, transferred into the academy as a junior, and um, the first class I sauntered into was Mrs. Wasserstrom's. I had a note, I was late, and uh, I found out right away who was the boss. I was in her geometry concepts math, and I enjoyed it. It was probably the only math class I ever enjoyed. And she's been able to keep that up through the years. We have all different types of students in our class. In our class we have freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And she's really able to like, reach all of them on the learning level that each of us needs. At the beginning of every mathematics unit, she uh, starts off the unit with telling us the history of it, how it's applied in real life. It allows the class to connect with people who aren't maybe not as interested in math, but are more interested in application or the history of it. She's great at finding resources. She really wants to make sure that her students have a thorough background in the topic, and she really likes to bring it to life. Right? She's, I'm sure you've heard many people say she's had her googly eyes. Right? When we're talking about complex numbers, she reads books about pi when it's pi day. She has polynomial calisthenics uh, when they're learning about curves, which, you know, when I get them the following year, I'm like, remember this curve, and they all do the same thing. That was Mrs. Wasserstrom, remember that? Um, so helps helps them make connections so that they can succeed in math. She's taught parents, she's taught grandparents, she has been invited to bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs and she loves every minute of it. We met in 1984 in Mrs. Wasserstrom's honors math class, freshman math class, and that was the beginning of a wonderful life together. She's taught my brother, my sister, me, of course, Melissa, um, our four kids. And, and every time Mrs. Wasserstrom showed up on the schedule for one of our kids in the beginning of the year, we took a sigh of relief because we knew that our kids were in good hands, that they were going to be valued, that they were going to be taught not just to be good mathematicians, but also to be good people. She wants to make sure everyone feels right about themselves, and she wants to make sure everyone's successful. Marlene's been around the Academy for a few years. Let's just say I was a student when she started teaching at Ida Crown. And yet, despite the years, the decades and generations that she's taught, Marlene has always been on top of her game. Marlene is the kind of teacher that we all hope we will become. She really considers Ida Crown to be a family. And that's really important because it's not just a job to her. It's, it's part of who she is. I've had so many Ida Crown memories. We have a wonderful, wonderful math department where 
We are really, the camaraderie, I couldn't ask for better. The teachers in the school, we back each other if it's good times, bad times, and that, that's made all the difference in the whole world. And I have to really, I have to thank the principals who encouraged me. Rabbi Matanki has been good to me, he's been really good to me. Ida Crown is my family away from home. I love this building. I find it like a home.